Hello, can you listen to me, guys? Yes. Okay, I thought I was speaking to myself. Thank you for confirming, David. So welcome, guys. I'm glad you made it on time. We're going to start today with our first class, uh, first session um, at this time. Well, this is actually session number three, right? Let's see. Let me start sharing with you guys today's topic. One second. Let me see here. Hmm, okay. Good evening. Welcome. Okay. This is what we're going to study, session number three. And for today, we have some activities that we left pending, right? As you can see, uh, we haven't had time, but today we're going to go over that. I remember that I asked you to prepare one answer for, can you tell me about yes, yourself? Okay, so let's see. Good evening, says Jancy. Good evening. Okay, so we have today's topic, and this is, um, this is, oh, there's background noise. Okay, um, today's topic is what's in a name, okay? And this is also based on the platform. And the objective for today is, let's see, Ana Maria, can you give me a hand? Can you read the objective, please? Yes, and this uh, in this lesson, participants will be able to read an article and to answer some Comprehension questions. Comprehension questions. Good. Our first activity. Let's see. Uh, well, this is an activity that we left pending. I ask you to create one paragraph about you, if you remember. So maybe you have prepared something different, but then whenever somebody asks you to tell a little bit about yourself, um, we are expecting to hear name, age, professional occupation, if possible, date of birth, address, likes and dislikes, free time activities, uh, if you can describe your personality, and if it's possible, you can include short-term and long-term plans. Now, um, we are 21 at this moment, and I would like to ask for volunteers to start practicing your English and introducing yourself. Okay, and try to expand. I'm not gonna have time for everybody, but at least uh, if you have written your text, please, this is your time for you to share. Raise your hand to participate, please. Nobody wants to uh, share. If you speak English, if you expand on your answers, we can listen and I can listen and I can provide some feedback if necessary. So please take advantage of this time. This was an activity that I assigned on the first day. Teacher, mm -hmm. Re repeat the indication, please. Yeah, well, the instructions are this. Um, I want you to talk about you. And I remember that on the first class, I asked you to do this. I have two volunteers, Ruth and Anna. Let's listen to Ruth. Go ahead, please. This is Alien Maya. Voy a revisar ahí, por favor. Okay, teacher, I. Hi. The volunteer. My name is Ruth Comunicologist. I'm from San Salvador. My birthday is. Cat and a fish. In my free time, I like gardening, reading, watching horror and mystery movies, as well enjoy as well as enjoy time with my family. Uh, I like the beach very much, but I also enjoy mountains and cool places. Sometimes I like to improvise in the kitchen. Together with my children, we make cakes or cookies. Interesting. What else? 
personality? How do you consider yourself? Rude, friendly, um, I don't know, optimistic. How do you consider yourself? I'm friendly. I'm friendly and I'm friendly and angry sometimes. I can see. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing. Let's see. Well, Thank you. For... Thank you so much. Uh, that was good. Now we know a little bit more about Ruth. Let's listen to Ana Maria and then we listen to David. Hi, um, I'm Ana Maria Hueso. You can tell me Annie. I'm a teacher of kindergarten and I'm not working. Actually, I'm a housewife, excuse me. I like it this because I can see my children and I help them with their homework. I like to cook and it makes me happy. And I want to learn English, but it's difficult to me the pronunciation because I'm afraid to be wrong. And I'm so excited to come back to study English and I don't want to have COVID-19 and I please save yourselves and your family. One Thank thing, you. one thing, Annie, you are doing a good job. Your English is really good. You have to believe that. You have to believe in yourself. You are doing really good. It's just a matter of maybe gaining more vocabulary and gaining more comfort confidence but then you are doing a really good job so your english is good and then uh we all make mistakes we make mistakes so if you are wrong fine i mean sometimes it's good to laugh about ourselves something is good to you know make mistakes because mistakes are um what they're not synonym of failures mistakes are I would say our learning experiences that we have on everyday life. So you're doing good. I wanna say the following, actually doesn't mean actualmente guys. Actually means a decir verdad, right? So how do you say actualmente in English? Creo que es recently, creo. Okay, alguien más, anybody else? Currently. Exactly. Exactly. Alguien lo acaba de decir. Uh, to say, to say actualmente, we say currently. Exactly. Currently, so Ana, currently means actualmente. When we say actually, it doesn't mean actualmente. Actually means de hecho o a decir verdad. This is, uh, this is known as false cognate. Se conoce como falsos cognados. Actually, es como decir exit. Exit no significa éxito, right? Exit significa salida. So in that case, uh, we know these are called falsos cognados. Don't, don't mix them up, don't confuse them. And then, uh, like, actually, when you say actually, it's because you want to say de hecho, blah, blah, okay? Just FYI, okay? All right, uh, what else? Anybody else, maybe two or three more volunteers, please uh, feel comfortable. I think David was the next one. David? Okay. Next. Please, David, go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> my name is David Perez. I have a uh, four years old. My profession is a teacher. The David is 25 August to the years 81. My address is Metapan City, Santa Ana. I like the basketball. I don't like the rain. In my free time, I go to the other countries, travel. My personality is peace and love. And my plans in a short term is go to the Dominican Republic for two months to learn in English. Only that. Awesome. Great to hear that. 
Yeah, traveling must be a good experience, right? And then uh, let's see. To say, David, thank you so much for sharing. So you're a teacher as well. To say, tengo tanto años de edad, you say, I am, right? I am, for example, my case, I am 32 years old. We don't say okay. I have, right? Because I heard you said I have, but then it's I am. Let's see, okay. teacher, currently, currently, Gloria, current, current, currently, and then Lee is also, is always pronounced as a different syllable. We say currently, currently, like actually, that Lee is a separable, is a separated syllable. Okay, so thank you so much. One more space, anybody else? I know you all want to participate. Carla Merino, go ahead, please. And then Clara Cuñadas, I think. Carla, your time. Okay. Clara and Gabriel, like that. Go ahead, please. Okay, I... I tell myself, uh, I am Carla Tatiana Merino Guzman. My age, I am 28 years old. And at the moment, I don't have a job, but I'm looking for one opportunity of job. Uh, I, my, birthday, my birthday is on December 16. My others, I live in Soyapango. Uh, um, something I like about me is my, I am persistent, I am friendly. In my free time, I like to listen to music or play with my kids, or I, I like to go to the park with my kids. And my personality is I'm friendly and I am polite. <coughs> and my plans in the future is um, I would like to travel, or maybe I would like to in, increase all my my English, and that's it. Thank you so much. That was really good. A lot of info provided in very little time. Thank you for, for sharing good English. Uh, let's see, next one. Um, hi, good morning. My name is Rafa Cañadas. My, I am 18 years old. My profession, uh, I think I'm a student, university. I'm a university student, and my birthday is in July. It's on July 14, and my address is in Soyapango. I like it to learn more new languages and more things. I, I like to learn. And my, and my free time activities are learn, uh, learning some books, and reading, and watching some series and my personality I think I'm a kind I'm generous and friendly and I'm a little bit conservative and that's it oh that's good nice to hear you're generous thank you so much for sharing yeah learning languages is a good idea so don't stop learning um don't maybe don't limit yourself only to one language we have we all have to learn different languages maybe my in my case i want to go for french i'm i was taking basic french classes but i think i have to leave the time to to continue so i congratulate you because you have that mission okay now we listen to the last person i think it was gabriela okay Carla, Merino, go ahead, please. Okay, my name is Gabriela Hernandez. I am 19 years old. I am currently studying. My birthday is 8 August. My address is Pahuachapan, Pahuachapan. I like to sing, I like to eat. I like to read. I don't like liars. In my free time, I help my father in this business. My personality is introvert. Short-term goal to learn fluent English, graduate, and long-term start my own travel ahead. You are an entrepreneur, I can see. Great to hear that, okay? 
Uh, and yes, liars, right? We all hate liars. And good, you're a good daughter. I can see you help your, your father. It's really good and you're doing good in your English, okay? And let's see, a uh, question actually means the hecho, but in fact means the hecho too. When can we use both of it? Synonyms, synonyms, okay? I would say you can use actually or in fact and on the same, on the same context, okay? Even it can be a speaking and writing, you know, actually, or in fact, both are synonyms. Okay, let's leave it like that. Okay, so let's see what else. So we have, um, I don't have much time, guys. We need to move on. Thank you to those who already participated. I'm going to give another activity so, you, so the ones who haven't participated can do it. And this is our next activity. And maybe we want to improvise it. If you don't know it, it's fine. Can you see the screen? We are going to use these formats to talk about your name, okay? Name, for example, easy to spell and you demonstrate it. For example, uh, name Armando, easy to spell, yes. And you say A-R-M-A-N-D-O, you spell it fast. Easy to pronounce, yes, easy to pronounce. There's a background noise, let me mute it. Okay, thank you so much. Um, so, name, Armando, is it a spell? And then I spell it, is it a pronounce? I, I say it, sounds nice, of course it does. Has a meaning, Armando, and I don't know, maybe a warrior. <laughs> and then has a diminutive, um, yes, people might call it uh, maybe Armandito. Even my brother said to me only Mandito or Mando. <laughs> but then, yes, that's me. And what about you guys? I'm going to give you three minutes and maybe two minutes. Think about your name. Do you know it if it has a meaning? Okay. And then you're going to share. Okay. Maybe you want to write it down and then you share it with me or with the whole class. Two minutes. Complete this chart about your name. First or second name, either or. finish let me know when you finish send me a message on the chat and we can start sharing here okay we are 30 people connected I need to hear other voices. Please raise your hand and, and open your mic and practice and participate, please. Provide me information about your name as I did it. Anybody? Or I choose. Hmm. Let's see who won the two one. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe. I have like most of you with the camera off. My question is, are you guys sleeping? Are you eating? What are you guys doing? Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. Susana, Carolina, can you share with us, please? Susana, I hear uh, Salvador Rivera. Do you like to share? Would you like to share about your name? Okay, my name is Salvador. And spelling this like that S A L B A D O R. For me, it's easy to pronounce. 
Does it sounds nice? Yeah. And does it have a meaning? Mm, at this moment, I don't have the meaning of my name. Okay, great to hear that. So you have homework. Investigate the meaning of your name. Maybe, Salvador, you want to investigate the origin of your name. If it's uh, from which country is it, for example. Um, that name dependent, right? And what about uh, diminutive? Diminutive, does it have? Do people call you any specific diminutive? Or not, or never, you have heard any diminutive for your name? All right, I don't know if, if it is my connectivity, but I don't hear your answer. Uh, is there anybody else who would like to share? Okay, David, go ahead, please, David, thank you. Okay, my name is David, and is it spelled D-A-B-E-D? -E -D? Easy to pronounce, yes, David, sounds David, uh, has a meaning is a god is an angel of good angel to close of good and diminutive is little david okay i can oh, see davisito. Davisito. <laughs> hey, I, I, I didn't know the, the meaning of your name so it's uh angel close to god you say right interesting i didn't know yes that. el angel más cercano a dios yes yes david. yeah David, I can see. Good. Anybody else who would like to share, guys? Uh, I think Clara wanted to share. Go ahead, please. I want to hear about your names. Go. Okay. Um, my name is Clara. Uh, I think yes, it is to spell. Uh, it is C L A R A. And I think it's yes, it's easy to pronounce. For me, it's not so nice, but for some people, yes. And I think. I I search, I look for some meanings and I found that my name mean, means she's a transparent and brilliant woman and has an amenity. Yes, it's Clarita or, or Clary. Oh, I like Clary. Sounds really cute. And Clara, yeah, sounds sounds good. Sounds sounds nice. And I didn't know about the meaning of your name. Thank you so much for sharing. Let's listen to Ana Maria Hueso and then we we'll listen to, let's see, uh, Jacqueline. Okay, Ana Maria. My name is Ana. It's easy. And A and A. It's easy to pronounce. And it's nice. And has meaning uh, full of grace and has, I mean, diminutive is Annie, Anita. Yeah, the diminutive is Anita. Yeah, Anita, Annie, Anita. And what is the meaning you said? The meaning? Full of grace. Ah, full of grace. I can see. Thank you so much. Good. Uh, let's see. Next one, we listen to Jacqueline and then we listen to Jancy. Go ahead, Jacqueline. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Lourdes. Is it to spell is L O U R D E S. Easy to pronounce, it's easy, sound nice, yes. As a man in, yes, it is for the bridging of Lourdes, uh, friends, as a diminutive is Lulu or Lula. Well, I didn't know we call Lulu, Lulu or Lula to Lourdes, interesting. And so is the... Um... What do you say for the bridging of Lourdes or, or what, what was Yes, ah. bridging of Lourdes. 
I can see. I can see. And do you like to be called by your diminutive or not? Yes, yes. Lulu. Uh, Lulu. Lulu. Okay. Sounds fancy, actually. Sounds really fancy. Uh, okay, good. Let's see. And we have Jancy and I think Ruth. Jancy, go ahead, please. Like the last two participants. Okay, thanks. My name is Jancy. Is it spelled Y A N C I? Uh, is it uh, pronounced pronounce Jancy? Sounds nice, yes. Uh, has a meaning out. Arian, confident and passionate. Uh, has the minute, I don't, um, bueno, no creo, no recuerdo cómo se dice. Que tenga, pero eh, en todo caso sería Jancita. Jancita, okay. So I like the meaning of your name, you know, passionate. And that's really cool. Thank you for sharing, appreciate it. Okay, I don't know if Ruth is going to participate. I saw your hands up. Yes. Okay, hey. go ahead. And then we My listen name. to... My name is Ruth. Is, is it to spell R-U-T-H? It's a, it's easy to pronounce and it sound now, sounds nice. Uh, it means is the faithful company companion or I don't know the faithful partner. Uh, compañera fiel. Companion, companion, the faithful companion. Uh, uh, it's not have a companion, the faithful companion, and it's not have the diminutive. Rutsita. <laughs> La Rutsita. No. <laughs> Ruticita. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't have it doesn't have Ruticita. Yeah. Little Ruth sounds better. Okay. And then uh, thank you. Gabriela, you are the last one, Gabriela. Go ahead. Oh, and Gilbert. Okay, go ahead. Gabriela and then Gilbert. Okay, my name is Gabriela. Is it to spell this G-A-B-R-I-E-L-A? Is it to pronounce? Yes. Sounds nice, yes. Has a meaning, God force. He has a diminutive. Gabby. Yeah, yeah. God force is really nice. Uh, diminutive. You can say diminutive or diminutive. You decide. The T sound is R. Diminutive, I like saying diminutive or diminutive. Okay. So God force is then the meaning. It sounds really cool, you know. Uh, my first name is Jesus, and I don't like. I think I told you this. I don't like Jesus because it's too much for me. Jesus means savior, you see. But I'm I'm glad to hear good names with good intentions and many. Gilbert, what about you? What about your case? Mm, okay, I wanna try. Uh, my name is Alexander. Uh, it's easy to spell A L E X A N D E R. Easy to pronounce, yes. Sounds nice, yes. Has a meaning, yes. It's from the Greek, Alexandros, that it means the defender, the protector, or the savior. And yes, has a diminutive. Uh, it's Alex. Okay, yes, I like. So from the Greek roots, uh, I can see. So you are the savior too. Thank you so much for sharing, Alex. Yeah, Alex sounds really cool. And we have a hands up and this is from Brian. Brian, go ahead, your turn. Hello teacher, my name is Brian. Is it to spell B-R-Y-A-N? Is it to pronounce right? As the meaning, uh, according to Google, Ryan means Raymond. As a diminute is little Brian. <laughs> little Brian, El Brian. Okay, good Brian. Thank you so much. According to Saint Google, 
<laughs> it's this okay good thank you for sharing i appreciate it okay and then we need to move on guys we need to move on and this is based on the platform okay so what makes a name popular or unpopular i want to hear more uh participations okay those who haven't participated please tell me tell to the class what makes a name popular or unpopular any opinion open your mic I think my name is uh, unpopular. Unpopular. Why is it? What makes your name unpopular? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't hurt hurt more. Maybe. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Thank you me? so much. Uh -huh. uh, only me. Uh, maybe two or three persons more okay it's not chepe right everybody's called chepe jose okay and what is the most popular name in el salvador guy what is the most popular name for boys for men what do you juan. think juan juan carlos diego brian carlos. Juan. pedro pedro y pablo antonio antonio miguel uh, there's always there's, there's always there's always think about this do you have a Juan in your family like maybe brother sisters or, or uncle or grandpa or do you have a Juan because in my case I have a Juan my brother my younger brother is Juan and then one of my uncles is Juan I'm thinking about this name do you have a Juan in your family my grandfather yeah. Yes. Juan. I know a Juan. Okay. Uh, but I think the most popular name in this country, uh, I believe is Jose. Jose, right? My brother, my bro my oldest brother is Jose. Huh? <laughs> you see? Yeah. yeah, Jose Chepe. We call him Chepe. And okay. Um, what about for ladies, for girls? Maria. 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 Easy, La Maria. <laughs> La Marisha with, with double L, Marisha. Okay, yeah, right. And what Mar was second place, do you think? Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Have you, have, have you seen the last movie from Spider-Man? Yes, I gotta go yes. to the... Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> and well, and what about, let's see, so we have Mary in second place. What about in the United States? What is the top one? What do you think? Uh, I have a, uh, I know mm -hmm. the most, the number most popular in the United States is Jacob. Jacob for boys and for girls, for ladies. Yes. And for yes. Emma. Emma. Emmy. <laughs> Annie. Emmy. Okay, Annie. Okay, let's see what it says. Let's check the Thank text. You. Oops, look at this one. Let's take a look at this text. Have you seen it on the platform? Yes. Have you read it already? Ya lo leyeron? Okay. Yes. No, I saw Jacob. I know. <laughs> <laughs> look at this one. Okay, let's read it. I need one volunteer to read it. Maybe we're gonna read this like three or four times because I want to hear your pronunciation. Anybody want to raise your hand to read first? Okay, Jancy, go ahead, please. You start. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It's an important part of your identity. Identity. Sorry. Identity. 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 Yeah, identity, yes. Uh -huh. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actor, TV or book. Um, I don't... 
Character. Character. Or at athletes. 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 Popular names, subjects, subjects, very yes. positive things. A popular name, subjects, negative things. Super strongly, super surprisingly, but people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common op opinions about names from a recent survey. Thank you so much, a recent survey. Uh, surprisingly, hey, I was just thinking about this, uh, like on Christmas, I went to buy some stuff and at this, at this uh, company where I purchased one um, furniture, they gave me a calendar and each day has a name. And I remember that in the past, I don't know if this is something that you have heard, but in the past, if you, let's say you, uh, you born today and then your parents go into the calendar and they see the name and they name you after this saint. And that's why in the past you hear names like Petronila, like uh, Ursula, you know, Anastasia. And, you know, this is really, really like, I would say it's a really weird way of choosing names. But nowadays, likely, we're not like that. Maybe nowadays we are more influenced about um, American names. You see people, somebody like names is maybe Michael. Wow, this is Michael. And this is the most uh, interesting part because I know a Michael and they write it like this. Let me send it to the chat. And he was my student. I said, what's your name? My name is Michael. So I wrote it like as I thought it was. But then he said, no, teacher, my name is Michael like this. And can you see the chat? Michael, but that's not the way how you say it. It's interesting. Or imagine you go to the city hall, a la alcaldía, and then the girl who's there, the secretary, doesn't know how to write Michael and, and writes it like this. It's interesting. But then I would say nowadays we are more influenced by other cultures when, when choosing names. Exactly, that's the way it is, David. Now, um, what about your experience? Have you, or what is the, the strangest name you have heard? Anybody? For me, uh, the strange name I- For the, she I mean, or for, he, for her? Um, like both. Uh-huh. Uh, the good concepción. <laughs> concepción. For me. The most strange name that I, I ever, here uh, was uh, when I working in Movistar Ecuador, I listen when I, I, I met uh, a, a mister that uh, his name is Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Adolf first name, Hitler second name. Crazy, that's crazy. And then uh, there was this guy who was named after Najib, I Fisher. think. Uh -huh. I, I have, a, I have a, a one partner of work. The name is Claxon. Claxon? Claxon. In the world, everybody say Silvato, Pito. <laughs> 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 Man, you see, uh, you know, sometimes parents don't even think about, you know, the consequences, right? Wow, yeah. And some people name, you know, uh, children after somebody else, right? And because, oh, he or she is famous and then, and they name it like that. Okay. What other name have you heard? And what about for, for uh, ladies beside Concepcion, what others have you heard Like one of my students, uh, I met, um, let's see, that was on Christmas. I was, I was working on a project with Inhuve and I met one girl. Her name is Clelia. I was like, Clelia, I thought it was Delia or, or but not Clelia. And then all of a sudden you get familiar with, with uh, this name and you hear it like, normal but then first impression is what did you say what do you say clelia you know let's see uh, what opinions do you have gilbert what opinions do you have strangest name 
Rufina. Ah. Rufina. I like La Pitufina. Okay, what about you, Gilbert? Elsia. Elsia. I don't know. Adolf Hitler is the most, <laughs> the most strange name right. that I hear. Right. Adolf <laughs> Hitler. Ma, Ma Gandhi, no, come on. What about Anna? What do you have? What, what have you heard? Anything else? And my mom. Her name is Adoración de la Trinidad. Yeah. Adoración. <laughs> she must yeah. be saint. My mother's <laughs> name is Fidelina. Have you heard this name, Fidelina? I think I heard it like two times Fidel. more, but Fidelina. Fidel. But Fidel is for boys, right? And then Fidelina for ladies, I think. My mom's name is Esperanza. Oh, well, she's hope. She gives hope, <laughs> you know? Sure. Uh-huh. Um, it's common in this time, uh, listen names like uh, Ronaldo, Messi, and for example, <laughs> Ronald, a, a person uh, names her, her, his boy, uh, Messi Ronaldo. Yeah. <laughs> Messi, Messi Ronaldo. Know. Oh, oh, oh. The, the kid that uh, his name is Google. Google, damn. <laughs> that's, that, that's really me, imagine. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Google. I, what? <laughs> I tell my son Goku and my, my wife is not. Uh, <laughs> I love Goku. I uh, Actually, on April 22nd, there's a movie, uh, super uh, superhero, you know? Uh, so I'm, I have seen all the series of Goku and I love it. I can watch Goku the same, the same episode like two, three times and I don't get bored. I love it. So I'm waiting for the movie next on April this, this year. So Goku will be a good, a good name. What's your name? My name is Goku. Come hey, hi. And then you say, this is crazy. <laughs> right. It's so oh, funny. It is, right? Yeah, teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Um, okay. My, my, uh, my, sorry, sorry. Uh, mi abuela, grandmother. 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 Okay. Grandmother. My grandmother, uh, her name is, is uh, Kumarsinda. Kumarsinda. Uh, the boy's name is uh, Chinda. This in Chinda. Chinda, you see. What's yeah. your Mama Chinda, you say? Mama Chinda. Yeah, yeah, I stole it. <laughs> right. You know, my 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 grandfather, he he passed away already. His name was Margarito. So we <laughs> we, used, we used to call him Papayito, right? Because he's Margarito. Uh, Papayito. And then it's Chito, you call him Chito. My mom's name is C Simonette. It's not a, it's not spelled every time. <laughs> Just say my, my okay, Simonette. You see? Interesting names. Hmm. Okay, so let's move on. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. There are many things about names. And take a look at this one. Boys' names. George means average or boring. Wow. You know, I hope nobody's names George here. Jacob, wow, Jacob is creative, friendly. Michael, good looking, athletic, athletic. And Stanley, nerdy, like intelligent and serious. Serious. And, and girls, you know, names Betty, old fashioned. Wow, if, you, if your name is Betty, then mm -mm, like old fashioned, like not, not up to date, average. But then um, Emily, independent, adventurous, you know. Uh, Jane Plain, ordinary. <laughs> Nicole, beautiful and intelligent. So you want to call somebody Nicole. And let's let's read the last part. Let's see, uh, Olivia, would you like to read the last four lines? So why? You me? You read the last lines. Read the last four lines here. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, why do your parents give their children um, popular names? The biggest reason is the deception. Many people are 
name of after a family member of course opinions can change over time a name that is unpopular now me become popular in the future that's good news for all the horse horse and that is um there out there churches and that okay now my sure. question is guys have you ever thought about changing your name mm. yes yes and then if you if you could change your name what name would you get would you go for let's see Send me, send me the, your, send me your ideal name on the chat. I no. wanna see. Send me your ideal name. Four. Okay. Send me your ideal names. Go ahead. Let me read your names. Vildo abierto. Okay, Miguel, that's a good one. Okay, what would be your, your ideal name if you could change it to which one would you get? Let's see. David Edgardo. Yes, David. And then, ah, ese es el original. Original. Well, what about if you could change your name? Si podría cambiar su nombre, which name would you go for? <laughs> This. Eren. Eren. What? Is it Eren? Eren, yes. You like that one? Okay. Is it is the... Eren Llegar. <laughs> ¿Quién dijo eso? <laughs> Yo. Okay. Sí. And what about the other ones? Come on, guys. Come on. Like, there are sure, my my t-shirt is... Is... The Chingeki in a Kyoyin. Yeah. Attack of Titan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Send me your name on the chat. Come on. I want to read 31 names here on the chat. Miguel, go ahead, Miguel. Um, I like uh, Ayrton or uh, Aritz. Ayrton. Okay. I have never heard that name, being, being honest with you. Ayrton for, for Ayrton Sen. Ah, okay, okay. What? A, a, a soccer player. I can see you love soccer. Okay, soccer good. Like Names, guys, good. come on. I wanted to change my name to Gilbert to Dante. Gilbert for Dante. Ah, Dante Alexander sounds interesting. Dante. Like, there's a pastor, Dante Gevel, or Gevel, I think. I like Elizabeth. Fruit Elisa <laughs> says, no, I don't want to change it. Okay. That's a good position as well. It's a good position. And so you don't like to change your name. You wouldn't like to change your name. Okay. And what about the other ones? No, Dante like Dante Alighier. Ah, yeah. Like the Divina Comedia, right? Okay. Author. Nice. What else, guys? Any other name that you would like to have instead of the one you have? I love Emmanuel. By some reason, I love that name. I love it. I think I'm gonna name one of my my kids if I if if God give me the chance to, to be a father. Emmanuel sounds like good, like due to the Bible stuff, and because I'm a Catholic person as well. So um, good. Anybody else? I like the name Violet. My children, I think they have a Christian a, name. Real? No, no, no. Este, nombres raros weird names weird, weird names uh, eh, eh, my son his name is Axel and Axel my daughter uh, and my daughter is eh, Melody Serena yeah Melo Me Melody I love actually that name sounds really really fancy Melody Melody. Okay, what about uh, any other names, guys? Are, are we fine with that? And look at this one. Uh, it says that the one of the biggest reasons is tradition, right? Tradition. 
And then this many people are named after a family member. Do you agree with that? Many people are named after a family member. Do you agree or disagree? Like in my case, my father's name is Jesus Armando. So my father didn't think about any other name. He gave me his name. So basically, I am the <coughs> And I don't know if you have um, heard of any other example where the father is father's name is the same as the son's name or the mother's name is the same as the daughter's name. So many people are named after, you know, a family member. No, le vamos a poner el, el nombre del abuelo. And then el nombre del abuelo es Petronilo. You, sí. <laughs> ya la regó. So, so maybe, right? Kimberly, any idea? Yeah, in my case, my brother have the same name for my, my father. Like, um, my father's name is Wilmer Julayman. But my Whoa. my brother is Julaiman Welmer. Oh, he's, he's the, the, the other way. But other it's way crazy around. because name I never heard before. So I don't know. Oh. <laughs> where where is it coming from? Hey, uh, <laughs> nobody's interesting. I think it's a good technique to switch the names and then we have a new name. My Who's name here? is Anna. Yes, go ahead. Do you listen to the song for these names? The songs? Yeah, the song for the, the, the names. No. It's uh, Ludovico Abelar, Señor. Ah. <laughs> exactly, that's a good song. <laughs> that's a good one. That's really funny. That's really like kind of silly, but you know, it's a good one. Let's see. Thank you for sharing that song. I'm going to listen to that song after I finish this class. Let's see. My name is Ana Maria and I'd like to change to Mariana. That's a good one. Jocelyn Diana. Uh, Jocelyn. Call me Diana Abigail. Good. Uh, I'm going to know the name is about Jesus Christ and honor the Savior. Okay. Yes, yeah, Salvador, you're right. You're right. My, my son has one of the father. My daughter has a, like me. Interesting. Interesting. So you say, you already name our son after your name. So I'm going to name my daughter after my name. You said, okay, that's a good. My father's, my son has, okay, let's see. We read this already. Okay. Olivia, what do you want to say? Uh, my name is Olivia Emanuele. Um, I creo que es unique. I think it's unique. Okay. Yeah. Emanuele. Unique. Unique. Emanuele. Emanuele. Sounds interesting. And do you like to be called Emanuele? Yeah. And write, write in the chat, Emanuele. Emanuel, eh? interesting because it's like Emanuel is the is for, for solo, solo, solo como dato porque no sé si sabían pero en su duis en la parte de atrás ven que abajo hay como unos números unos códigos raros hay un este código que está, hay, un, hay un código que está separado hay un número que está separado del resto ese número indica cuántas personas ¿Cuántas tienen personas exactamente igual. el mismo nombre Ajá. así pueden saber si sus nombres en realidad son únicos que salió la bestia, tenía ya me he asustado. Ok, thank you so much. I will, I will check that. I will check it after on my, on my ID. I don't know where my ID is. Well, guys, thank you so much. Now we need to move on. Let's see. My second name is, uh, I would like to, like to Magdale, 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 Jacqueline, 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 okay. Teacher, hey people, my name is equal to H. Hey people, more. Hey people, okay. Yeah, look oh, at this. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you have eight. your ID. Hey people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to check my. I'm going to, but that is in El Salvador, right? It, only in El Salvador because the ID is Salvadoran. Except I'm going to check that. I don't know where my ID is, but I'm going to look for it. And so I can see how many people are named like me in El Salvador. I met a Mexican girl named Mac Macdiel too. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's interesting because there are some names that are unisex, right? 
uh, they're for 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 women and for men the same. For example, um, like uh, let's see which names are like that 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 can be used for for women and also for men. And let's see, maybe for you, example, you, uh, Ariel. Ariel, right? Uh, for for both, right? Justin. You, you, yes. You can use Alex for both. Alexandra, Alex. Alexander. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, in that case. But there are some that are like very similar. Like in my case, I, I, I have heard Jesus for both, like men and, and, and women, right? And what mm. other's name? What other oh, names have you heard? Maria Jose. I know, I know a one, Maria yes. Maria Jose. Maria Jose. Um, Maria Jose. Jose, oh, Jose Maria. Ah, yeah, Jose Maria, Maria Jose. They call it Majo, right? Okay, good. Guys, uh, well, we have this conversation and we, we only have two minutes. I think names are really interesting. But then uh, we already read this. I think there are some questions. Go ahead and answer the questions, guys, based on this. And then tomorrow we're going to start with how do you spend your day? This is section number two. So for tomorrow, I want you to write okay, at least three lines and say, how do you spend your day? Think about activities you do on a daily basis. And then tomorrow I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say okay, baby, tell me how do you spend your day? And then you talk to me and provide me as many details as possible, okay? But that's gonna be tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna study this and we're gonna go over this conversation. And this is about um, what activities we do on a daily basis. And which means that we are about to start uh, simple present. Guys, I know you are intermediate and these topics are basic, but it's good to practice, okay? As much as possible. So do you have any any questions or anything else that you want to ask, guys, anything? No? What no, is, no. What is the homework for tomorrow? Activity for the day. Okay, yes, you're going to write activities for write. the day. Mm -hmm. How to write activity, how do you spend your, your day? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, so tomorrow we're going to talk about that. Uh, make sure you complete the exercises on the platform. And as of now, you have to finish section number one. Everything must be completed, okay? And tomorrow we'll start with section number two. Okay, so for me, it's a, it's a nice experience, guys, to be connected at this time. You guys have a nice night. Try to rest and see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. 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 The homework? The homework. Yes, write about your day. Activities you do in your day. Okay, teacher. All right, bye-bye. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you.